Okay, so here's a system update with the speakers. Now, I didn't do an unboxing because I wanted to hook the thing up quick to see if it worked. I had to because if something doesn't work, then you're screwed. So this is the um, Sony 2500, I don't know the exact number, but if you put this Sony 2500 75 watt subwoofer. And um, for some reason, a lot of people list it on eBay for 100 watts, but it's not 100, it's 75. Now, even with one of these things, it's pretty good for your room if you just want a little bit. But when I added two, that brought up everything. It was like a shaking monsoon. I can imagine watching some of those, earth, what are those earthquake movies? Uh, there was a movie, no, there was a movie called Volcano, or Tommy Lee Jones, I think. That's a pretty loud movie with things will shake a lot. I forgot that there was another movie with them. I think it was, uh, what's his name? The one from Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman. I think there was a movie with him in Natural Disaster. I forgot what it was, though. But a lot of those movies with the shaking, I, I like. The bass. And, um, you know, I'm not too familiar with this. I don't know what to call it. Bass, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. But I like those kind of movies. And adding a second subwoofer did a great job. Here's another problem I ran into, though. And people might want to think about this before they do this setup. If you barely know how to do anything as it is, then I don't recommend going any further. What happened was, is that I didn't, I thought there was a second subwoofer port on the back of this receiver. Silly me, the receiver's like 20 years old. What are the odds of that? Well, actually, that's not true. There must have been receivers back then that had more than one subwoofer port. But that's beside the point. Um, there wasn't. It was a surround back. It had the same color as the subwoofer, but there was, if you pay attention, in between the port, in between the inputs, there's a black line, which means it's separated. And um, so there's one, one port for the subwoofer. What I did was, luckily, for, I had, from before, I used to split everything in my room with my televisions. So I got the white cable that splits the audio. And what I did was, is I plugged it into the... Um, sub the back of the subwoofer and I plugged in another regular white RCA cable into that plugged it into one of the subwoofers got another um white RCA pl cable plugged into the other side of the split and then I ran it out oh wait it, now it's not long enough one sub with subwoofer let me say it again one subwoofer is all set but this one's not long enough so I connected it to a coupler, one of those devices that you can, you know, you can plug in one end and extend it out the other. And I got another white cable and did that. It was kind of a pain in the ass. It's not really set up professionally right now. But I'm not going to blow any more money on wires. As long as it works, I, I don't care anymore. You know, some people like to be real super neat with their stuff. But sometimes there's just no opportunities for that. Um, and that's all. This is all with the system. Or some... Uh, how should I say, a receiver that was about 100, 120 bucks. How do you beat that? F I told you 5.1 was good enough for most people. Dolby Atmos is not the best thing since sliced bread like everyone makes it sound. It might be for the people who really, really want to pay attention and spend time with home media even more than me. Um, and, that, and that know their math and know everything about it. But for the... For for the regular person that just wants to watch the movies and have a good time, you don't need that. So Dolby Atmos is not completely necessary, and that's not what they're telling you. And I want to know what are all these Dolby Atmos people gonna do when all the discs are dropped? I told you in a very short amount of time, I think all the disc discs are gonna be dropped completely. Are you gonna rely on your all this Dolby Atmos and your receivers and your speakers? Are you gonna rely all on that? While you watch something on a on a streaming stick, like a Fire Stick or a Roku or an Apple TV, you're going to rely on that to watch all your Atmos content? That's pathetic. You need something that's like a disc, physical. You can get 100% of the quality. It's a real sh it's a real shame that nobody does that anymore. But the, because um, and you're going to say, well, if I feel that way 100% of the quality, why um? Why don't I get an Atmos? I do. I have it down here. It's not that great. <laughs> I have two fire and speakers that make um, for, and uh, it's not much of Atmos, and I don't get anything out of it. In fact, I don't know if you can see it, 
But when you look over here in some of my videos, there's a speaker and it, that's the Atmos that goes fires up. I can tell you, I can't hear that when I sit down on my couch, so it's useless to me. Um, I don't know what other people feel about it. Um, in, in my instance with this, I don't need the fullest of quality with sound. I just need enough to get by and have a good time. 5.1 is more than adequate. And to tell you the truth, I don't understand why everyone's trying to point away from surround sound and all of that. Surround sound is still very good. That's all there is to it. I see people on YouTube that set up these systems that are worth tens of thousands of dollars. And I say to myself, what are they going to use for content? Like, are they going to stream all their movies in the future? Like, people bought pro people are buying projectors, put them, putting them on 100-inch screens, spending thousands of dollars on equipment, and watching it from a Roku stick. Like, that makes no sense to me. And, you know, Roku doesn't... A lot of the movies don't even offer the highest audio setting. It's whatever they offer is what you get. Um... I have Roku and I think it sucks um, when it comes to um, when it comes to streaming things. The interface is very fast, ten times better than the Fire Stick. But when it comes to streaming all these different things, it, they're just as bad as any of the other boxes. The quality isn't up there. The sound isn't up there. None of it is. Even when you play it on stereo, you can tell the difference. All right. Bye bye.